Hey everyone, this is Mosk from Skull Bros Tabletop, bringing you another video about my Empire of Dust army for Avatars of War. I just purchased this new model. This is the Avatar of Sokar from Reaper's Bone Line. Um, it's really cheap. Uh, these three figures that you see in front of you, I purchased online for about ten or twelve dollars. Um, it's not that bad if you compare it to other things, and the models are pretty good. But today I want to talk specifically about what we see here in the middle, this awesome figure. There's a lot of discussion I see online about what to use this model for, or recommending this model for certain unit um, this or unit uh, uh, entries within an army book, usually from the Kings of War army. Um, so with this, this model is about 3 inches tall, or about 7.5 centimeters, and here's a picture of it next to a Space Marine. I figure that a lot of us have access to a Space Marine or know the size of the Space Marine, so this gives a fairly good idea of how big this model is. Now, for the next little bit, I'm just going to be flashing through pictures of this model next to other models that people might be familiar with to give an overall size comparison feel get a feel for what this model looks like, how big it is, and give you some ideas of what you could use it for. Now, online I see a lot of discussion, um, especially on the Mantic forums, about using this model for one of three different unit entries within the Empire of Dust book. One of them that I see is using him as maybe a, a unit champion for the Enslaved Guardians. Now, Enslaved Guardians are kind of like the they, they are the exact same thing as uh, the Ushapti from Games Workshop's Warhammer Tomb King's Army. Um, the other model or unit entry that I've seen people mention is using it as a bone giant. Now, sure, I think it totally could work as a bone giant. A lot of people say it's too small, uh, but the bone giant is for giants in uh, Kings of War are usually mounted on 50 millimeter bases. I have giants in my ogre army that I mount on 60 by 60 millimeter bases, just because it felt better for the size of the model. Um, but again, base size really isn't that big of a deal unless you're going to a lot of tournaments or anything like that, but most people seem to be fine with it. Um, the last thing that I see people uh, talk about using it for would be for the Idol of Shobik, which is a hero monster in King's War. Empire of Dust. A lot of people say it's too small, too big. So what I want to do now is show you some pictures of this model on certain types of bases. Right here we have this model mounted on a 40 by 40 millimeter base. This is the large infantry base uh, for um, Warhammer. It's what ogres are mounted on and trolls. And now we're going to show a size comparison next to a 50 millimeter base. Now, as you saw in the 40 millimeter base, the base that the model is comes on kind of hangs over it, but on the 50 millimeter base, it's fully is engulfed. Sorry about that message there. Um, and I think that it's a better fit to have the uh, 50 millimeter base. So I see no problem with it being used as a giant or the idol of Shobik. Now, what I'm going to be using it for though, I'm going and using it as a champion in a unit of enslaved guardians. Um, I'm also using the other two Reaper miniatures to kind of flank him and fill up the rest of the base. So anyway, I hope this video is helpful, giving you guys an idea um, of the overall size of this model, and to start getting you thinking on how you can incorporate this model into your collection and into your army that you use. Um, later on, I will be doing a video talking about how what models I use for my Empire of Dust, and just some other ideas that I have on how you can use um, different models from different ranges to represent each and every model within the Empire of Dust army book. So thanks for watching, have a good one.